Okay, so Seven Nation Army arrangement, right? So we know how to play all the different parts individually, right? So this, no problem. So it's about putting it all together, right? So from here, you're coming down to the power chord bit. So these two power chords are in between each different section, right? So this is the one, this bit. So that little, those two power chords there, they come in between each section. So you're always going from one bit to those power chords and from those power chords to whatever's next, okay? So if we're coming from the main riff, we've got one, two, one, two, one, okay? So just, you know, if you want to just get used to that little transition, just take it from here. One, two, last two notes of the main riff. So one, two, one, two, one. And just make sure you're down there and you land on that power chord on the third fret in time right so this one is optional make sure you've got this one in okay so one two one two one okay so and so for the main bit the chorus the, the bit where we do this, the riff but in sort of chord form right instead of doing the power chords like that we're just going to take regular E minor and we're going to put the melody into that right so we've got so third fret on the E string third fret on the B string just pivot around middle finger stays where it is to the C and then just these two here are sliding back by a fret for the B7 I mean it's kind of a B7 but you know no big deal it'll do okay so we've got let me get a better view of that. Pivot, come back, and back. And just do it over and over and over again. And take your time with it first. So slow it right down first. Remember, you're coming straight out of that, back into the chords, power chords. So again, make sure you practice this bit, but practice coming out of it into the next section as well. That's important too. So, and from there, look, so if, you, if you're here, you've got your little finger here, just slide that up to the fifth fret on the A string, and then first finger comes down for the bass note of that power chord. So again, that's... Third finger slides up to the fifth fret, and this one comes right in after it on the third fret of the sixth string. Make sure those transitions are in rhythm, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you got to make sure you're in there on time. Okay? So one more time, we've got a regular riff that we know how to do that already. One, two, one, two. So this way of doing it is a little bit new. So work on that nice and slow, but then start putting it all together. So you, you got to learn to come from this section to that power chord on the G, the third fret here, and from this section. So from this one, you're sliding down with your first finger down to the third fret, and this one comes on after it, okay? And from this one, and then, third finger sliding up to the fifth and then first finger comes in on the fourth or on the third okay so keep working on it put it all together all right